Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt and today I'll be teaching you how to script group rank uniforms on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is go into the game and as you'll see, if we're of a certain rank in a group, we'll get our uniform. Okay, so now that you know what the script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is create a new script under server script service. Um, and I'm just going to name it uniform giver because it's going to give players their uniforms, but you can name it whatever you'd like. Um, and the first thing we want to do inside of the script is get a reference to the group ID for all the ranks that we're going to be specifying. So I'm just going to say local group ID equals, and then I'm going to paste in my group ID for the row scripter group. But whatever group you want your ranks to get pulled from, that's what you want to put in this group ID value right here. After this, what we want to do is we're going to create a new array and we're going to call it ranks and uniforms. Um, and all this array is going to do is make it super easy for us to add different ranks and different uniforms. This will allow us to maybe set trainees to have one uniform or maybe set commanders in a military group to have another uniform. But we can add a bunch of different uniforms for all the different ranks in our group because of this structure that we're going to set up. So I'll say local ranks and uniforms, create a new variable and we're going to create a new array. Um, and then inside of this array, the way we're going to have it set up is we're going to have arrays inside of arrays. And I know that kind of gets confusing sometimes when you have so many different square brackets and parentheses and all that. But I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, so just follow along. So what we're going to do for every single one of these that we want to have, every single uniform and rank that we have, we're going to do brackets right here. Um, and then we have three values that we want to put inside of here. We want to put the rank ID for whatever rank that is. We want to put the shirt ID, so whatever shirt that rank gets. And then we want to put the pants ID for whatever pants it is. Now, I know you're thinking, oh, why? This is easy. I can just paste in my shirt ID, pants ID, and rank ID. The rank ID part's easy, but the shirt ID is actually a little bit more complex. So the first thing we want to do, we want to put in our rank ID. So mine is 255 for the owner rank. You can grab it on your group roles page. Um, but whatever rank yours is that you want to get that specific uniform, you put it in right here. Um, and then the shirt ID part is a little bit more complex. All we want to do is go over to Roblox. Um, and we want to go to the page where our shirt is. And then you see up here in the URL, we have these numbers. In this case, it's like 5, 1, 4, 3, etc. We just want to double click up here in the URL and we want to copy these numbers. Um, and then we're going to head back to Roblox Studio. And rather than pasting these numbers in here, we actually have to make sure this ID is correct. We have to put it into Roblox and we have to let them figure out the true ID of this. This ID is the shirt ID. We need to get the overall asset ID. And the way we do this is very simple. All we want to do is go into the game. Um, and as you'll see, if we look under workspace, we have our character. Go underneath your character and you want to click on your shirt object. It says shirt. Um, and as you'll see, we have all these different properties. We have color, shirt, template, data. We want to go under the shirt template property and paste in our ID like this. And then press enter. And as you'll see, what will happen is well, our shirt will change to whatever that shirt is. But you'll see the ID isn't the same as before. This one ends in a 4, but my previous ones ends in zeros. So what you want to do is double click and you want to copy this whole URL that it gives you right here. Slash asset, slash ID, all that, copy it. Um, and then we just want to throw that inside of our script as a string where we say shirt ID. So create a new string there and paste it in. And that's the shirt ID out of the way. It knows the shirt. It's all linked up now. We want to do the same exact thing for the pants ID. So I'm going to head over back to Roblox, click on the pants that I like and go to that page. We want to double click in the URL where the numbers are, copy that, go back to Roblox Studio, go into the game. Uh, and now you see we had that shirt one before, and now we want to go to the pants one underneath of our character. Again, we have the pants template, we want to paste in our URL right there. And as you'll see, it'll switch our pants to whatever that was. And we want to copy the new URL that it gives us, again different from the previous one. Click on the uniform giver, and then we're going to paste that again in as a string. And I know that's a little bit difficult, but this is just the way Roblox has us do it. So you have to make sure, rather than just pasting that number in there, that you actually go into the game and put it into a shirt and all that. After this, we can stop the game and head out of it. You might get a prompt saying confirm. Just say yes, save data, um, because we want to save our edits that we made while we were in the game. So now that we have that array set up, we can actually get into some of the more exciting coding pieces. So what we're going to do is we want to get whenever a player joins the game. And the way we do this is by hooking into the player added event of players. So we'll say game.players.playerAdded. We'll connect it up to a function. 
And then inside of this function, we want to get the player that joined the game. So whenever a player joins the game, we're going to get whoever that player is, and then we can do some more code with that player later on. Um, and what we want to do next is we want to get whenever that player's character is added. Um, and the reason we're doing this, all character added does is gets whenever the player resets or maybe when they spawn in for the first time. So we don't have to deal with their shirt getting reset when they die or anything like that because we're hooking into the character added event. So all we're going to say is player dot character added and then we'll connect it up to a function. And then inside of this function, the parameter I'd like to get is the character. So whenever the character is added, we want to get that specific character that was added. Um, and then in here, what we can do, I just want to throw a wait real quick. Um, and all this is going to do is make sure that the shirt is loaded in. Usually by the time we wait just a millisecond and we put that in, the shirt is already loaded in, the shirt template. So then we can set these different values for our uniform. After this, what I want to do is I want to loop through each of these ranks and uniforms values right here. Um, so right now we only have one value up here. We have this array in here, it's just like this. Um, but what if we wanted to add another? And the way we're going to do this is we're just going to put a comma at the end of it. And then we want to copy the whole line except for the comma. And then we just want to paste it underneath. Uh, and all we can do is we can change the values just as we did before, but this allows us to add it for as many ranks as we want. So it's super easy to add different ranks to the system. So what we want to do is we want to loop through each one of these that we created. So in this case, we have two. And the way we do this is with a for loop. So I'm going to say for i equals one. So for our index is one because we start at one, comma, number of ranks and uniforms. So for each one, we have two. So one to two. So we're going to do this two times, go through the loop do and we want to get a reference to this line right here we want to get a reference to this array so we'll say local rank and uniform which would be just one of these right not both but just one equals ranks and uniforms i and that gets so if we're on the first iteration it get this one right here this array and if we're on the second iteration it get this one it do this for however many ranks you have so after this what i want to do is i want to set up three different variables and all those variables are going to correspond to is these different values so our rank id the shirt id and then the pants id so all i'm going to do i'll say local required rank equals rank and uniform one because it's the first one so a required rank it'd be 255 for this first index and then it'd be 254 for the second i want to say local shirt template equals rank and uniform two so it gets the second index so which is this one which is our shirt template and i want to do the same thing for the pants template so we'll say local pants template equals rank and uniform three which is our final one and this just allows us to get these different variables so that we can give the player their uniform if they're of that required rank. After this, we want to check to see what the rank is in the group. And we want to say if it's equal to the required rank for that uniform, then we want to give it to them. Um, the way we do this, we'll create an if statement. So we'll say if player, and then we're going to call the get rank in group method of that player. Um, and this method just takes one argument, which is the group ID. We need to say what group do we want to get the rank in. Fortunately, we already have our variable set up for that, so we'll paste it in right there. And we want to say if their rank, player colon get ranking group, if that rank is equal to the required rank for that uniform, then in here we just want to give them the uniform. We want to set the values underneath their character for this uniform. So we'll say character dot shirt dot shirt template. And this is just going to set just as we did earlier when we we're grabbing these values. It's just going to set their shirt to whatever we pass in. So character.shirt.shirt template equals, and then we have a variable for our shirt template. So we'll just throw that in right there. So if we were on the first iteration, it put in this one as their shirt. If we were on the second one and they happen to be an admin rather than owner, then it would put in this one. For whatever rank we have, it would give them the desired shirt. And we want to do the same thing for the pants. So we'll just say character.pants.pants template equals pants template because we have a variable for that too. Um, and that's actually all we have to do. We can go into the game to test it out. Uh, so right now it says 255, which is my rank in the group, will get a specific uniform. And there we go. I don't get my old uniform. I get this one right here. Um, and if we just change that maybe 255 to rank 1, what we do if we head into the game again, we're not of that rank. So it's not going to give us our uniform. So if we just see what's it going to do, it just leaves our clothes alone and we don't get any uniform. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I have the pacement link with the code and the Roblox model link with all the assets shown in this video in the description. And I'll see you guys later.